Hi, this is Craig Brown from the Brooke Hancock Jefferson Metropolitan Planning Commission, and I am in Bethany, West Virginia, with Harry Chambers at Chambers General Store. How are you, Harry? I'm good. How are you doing? Hey, good. it's good well, to see you. Welcome back to the store. Well, first of all, for folks that don't know a lot about Bethany, this place is a state-recognized, maybe national landmark. Give me a little bit of background. Um, as far as Bethany or as far as the store? The store. Tell me about the store. Well, the store... Uh, um, was started in 1917 by my great-grandfather. He had moved up in 1911 from Marshall County, brought his family up here and bought a farm. Now, he bought the farm. That day, I don't know if I told you this all before, but I bought, he bought the farm strictly based on its physical location. It was halfway between Bethany College and West Liberty College. And he had 13 children, and he wanted them to get an education, and he thought that was their best shot. And actually, 12 of the 13 ended up with college degrees. So well, he did very well. That's not and, bad. And for a 1911 mean, tough old farmer out of Marshall County, I found it very progressive that he was concerned not only about his male children, but he also wanted his female children to get the education. That's, that's amazingly inclusive. I, I mean, I, I look around this place and I see all sorts of things. I've had one of the best chicken sandwiches of my life here, so I highly recommend it. Um, folks are always coming in, coming in and out of here. I, it's kind of hard to even get a few minutes with you, actually. And I think, I think probably about half the folks just come in here just to say hello to you guys. Which, which is a wonderful small town vibe. There are toilet seats on the walls. There's lots of hardware behind me. There's ketchup, there's coffee. There's, there's some interesting Bethany history. Um, we like to say we can sell you all the food and we can sell you everything to fix your toilet. The only thing we don't sell is the toilet. That's, um, I, I, imagine, I thought there would be one around here well, somewhere. Actually, there is a brand new one in a box over in the stock room that I would sell you if you were in a just, I keep just my, in case. I keep it for my rental. Well, it's always nice to have, have a background toilet, of course. Yeah, exactly. So what makes this store so iconic here in Bethany? Well, um, in the state of West Virginia, um, we're the longest operating under a single family general store in the state. Uh, grandfather, great grandfather actually came here to Bethany in 17 and bought Chamber Store and started it. And once again, that was so his children could go to Bethany High School and continue their education. He didn't feel the one room schoolhouse on the farm was quite up to what they needed to get into college. So in 17, he bought the original chamber store. It was up the road one block. Um, in 34, my grandfather took it over and moved it to this building because he just said that building wasn't fit to do business in. They tore it down. Uh, this building was actually built in 1904 as a general store. It's been a general store its entire life. Um, it's been through the Jones family, the White family, and then finally Chambers, like you say, we got it in 34 and been here ever since. So let's talk about current events just a little bit. Okay. So the big thing in town is the college, Absolutely. Bethany, of course, and that gives the whole area kind of a unique flavor. Um, but with COVID-19, the students were here. Sometimes they were in quarantine. It was just, it was a lot going on. How did that affect you guys here? I mean, you guys serve food so you could still be open and everything. Did it create any unique challenges for you guys? Oh. Like how to handle that? Absolutely. First of all, when, um, COVID first hit, and I'm, I keep the years get screwed up in my mind. Whether right. It was, whether it was eight, March of 19 or March of 20, the kids left on spring break and didn't come back. And that that's a very difficult thing for a business that, you know, 30 to probably 35% of our business is the students. They just didn't come back. Now, on the flip side of that, what helped us was we never ran out of product. Right. Um, I could always get meat. Now, it was ungodly expensive, but... People were willing to pay what they had to pay to get the ground beef and the steak and everything we sell fresh. Um, I actually have people come in here and say we start, we left from Waynesburg and we started driving north until we found a store that had meat. Right. And we never put a limit on it. I don't believe in that. My answer is if you want to buy everything in this store today and empty it, I will load it and I will restock it next year. <laughs> I don't believe in the well, one, only one, no, one, one of everything you can pay for. Absolutely, I, I think that's that's absolutely fantastic. Um, so, some folks are going to see this that are unfamiliar with Bethany, that are unfamiliar with the general store here. Um, what can we tell them that they need to stop by and check out? I mean, we'll uh, the flavor is the big piece. It's funny to watch people come in, uh, students from New York City, who the first time they step on a wooden floor and it creaks a little bit, the look in their eyes kind of funny. Then when you actually speak to them as a human being, oh my God, what's this guy talking to me? Nobody talks to me in New York. You don't. You're, you just look at each other. Um, and it's fun to get relationships with 
those kind of people. Uh, but we're not on the regular travel route. If you're coming to Bethany, you're either lost or you want to be here. Right. Uh, but if you brought your, bring your kids in, uh, it's something their grandparents grew up with. Uh, if they've ever watched Little House on the Prairie, yeah, this is Olson's Mercantile. We're, we still carry it all. We're still here, and we're still, still here to help. Well, that's a really good description of, of the store here. Well, thanks, Harry, and I'm right. sure we'll stop by and talk to you again. Well, I certainly hope so. Appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. Appreciate see, it. Seeing what this young lady does with this after she gets done giggling. <laughs>